Okay, so here what we're trying to do is find what values of x are we actually talking about in the set B. In other words, B, right, is equal to all this stuff. And what values are we talking about? Okay, so let's break this down. First of all, notice that this sign right here is separating two groups of parentheses. And this sign means the intersect. And that means we're going to look at the first set of parentheses here. We're going to look at the second set of parentheses here, and we're going to find um, what things do these two sets of parentheses both have, right? What do they share? So first of all, let's look at the first set of parentheses. X is an element of Z. That means a couple of things. That means, well, that X, first of all, the first thing is that E represents element. And that means that X is a a part of or a group it's part of the group of z and z is integers so we're saying that x is essentially an integer that's the first thing so x is an integer by element it means it's a number inside the group of integers that's the first thing that has to happen and the second thing is this longer set of parentheses we have a variable x with the line this means such that it's just so you see the line, and you also see this colon over here. They mean the same thing, such that. And such that doesn't really mean anything. It just is saying, okay, well, now we have variables x. And they exist such that. So it's just a phrase that says, okay, we're going to define x a little bit in more detail here as we work through this. So x such that what? Well, first of all, x has got to be larger than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to 12. So... This kind of gives you the range of where x lives. So, and we also know it has to be an integer from the first part. These things have to be in common. So, so far we're talking about the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So all the numbers between 0 and 12 that are also integers. But there's one last piece, and, and that's right here. This is saying what? Well, x over 6 is an element of z. What does that mean? Well, that means that we take the numbers x and you divide them by 6. That result, that quotient, is an element of the integers. In other words, take any of the numbers that we have so far, divide them by 6, and when the result has to be an integer. So what, what choices do we have? Well, 0 works, right? Because 0 divided by 6, right, that's just 0, and 0 is an integer. Remember, integers are positive or negative whole numbers. Next, does 1 work? No, because 1 divided by 6 is a fraction. It's 1 sixth. 2 divided by 6? No, for the same reason. 2 over 6 is a third, which is still a fraction. 3 over 6 is a half, which is a fraction. And what you start to realize is, oh, 4 won't work, 5 won't work. Only the numbers that work are 6, right? Not 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, but 12 works. So multiples of 6 and 0 work in this case. So here, when you answer this question, you could just say x should equal 0, 6, and 12. All right, thanks a lot.